please don't pray for me. Hey guys, it's John here in the studio um, making these videos for you <laughs> because I'm going away and these will be coming out while I'm gone. Um, I wanted to hop on and, and make this video today because yesterday I was going through my comments on the Recovering Catholic channel and I had like three in a row telling me that I was going to, they were going to pray for me. And because in their fear-based religion, I was in, I was inerrant and I was going to be um, burning in hell if I didn't repent and become, and take the Lord Jesus as my savior. Right. And they all, all ended, I will pray for you. And I, I'd like to say, please don't. And that sounds like a terrible thing to say, but the reason I say please don't is because I don't want them th believing that I'm going to hell because that doesn't do anything good to me and it doesn't do anything good for you to focus on fear-based things happening to someone. So please don't pray for me. Please come to believe and understand that God is love and in God being love that there's nothing to pray for. The book of John says very clearly, no fear can exist in pure love, and God is the purest of love. And so there is nothing to fear from God. And, and the idea of going and burning in hell for my sins, that is a very interesting perspective, yes. But that interesting perspective comes from a specific religion, not from the majority of religions. A very specific religion says I'm going to burn in hell. So it's only in your belief that I'm going to burn in hell. It's only in your belief that because I don't believe the same as you, that I'm a bad person and I'm going to burn in hell. So I ask you again, please don't pray for me because I don't want you going there. I don't want you going to that place of thinking I'm burning in hell. I don't want you to go to that place where you're putting it into the universe that I'm burning in hell because that doesn't really help anybody. You know, and also comes back to that concept of, are you my judge or is God my judge in your religion? Though I don't believe in a judgmental God, you're telling me that I'm going to burn in hell is you judging me, not your God, because you have no idea what your God would do in, in judgment of me, except for what your religion tells you. Your religion tells you I'm bad because I don't believe the same as you do. You claim that the Bible is infallible. And for the people who think the Bible is infallible, I ask you a, one simple question. How did Judas die? Because the Bible says he died in two different ways. One, he hung himself and threw the 30 pieces of silver on the floor of the temple. And another part of the Bible, it says he took the 30 pieces of silver, bought a farm, and one day while plowing the field, his guts ripped open and poured out all over the field. If the Bible is infallible, how can there be two stories? So think about it that way. You know, I am living a life where I'm joyful. I'm loving. I, I care for people. I deliver things to homeless shelters. I, I give money to the poor. I spend hours upon hours upon hours helping people come to their own empowerment and finding love in the world. I find desperate people who have been damaged by religions, and I help them find a beautiful life and a happy life and a joyful life. And I do that, you know, 60 to 90 hours a week, every week. I don't think I'm going to burn in hell. And I'm sorry that you, that you feel that that kind of good works is not worthy of your God in your religion. But I'm not judged by your God and your religion because I believe God is love, like the book of John says. And I believe that in the, in the oneness of God, which the New Testament says that, Joshua says the Father and I are one, and in the book of John it talks about how we're supposed to be one with Jesus, so which means we're one with God. Th that being said, am I doing good works? Am I receiving beautiful responses? Absolutely. The only negative responses I ever get, and oddly, oddly, it's very rare, 
I get religious people telling me I'm going to burn in hell, specifically Christian people who tell me I'm going to burn in hell for not believing as they do. I laugh, I smile, I joke, I don't harm anybody, and yet you think I'm going to burn in hell for that. I, I am more in tune with what the Dalai Lama said when he said, my religion is simple, my religion is kindness. I'm closer to that belief than a Christian belief in any way, shape, or form. I would never go back to Catholicism or any other Christian belief because I don't believe in a fearful God, and I don't believe in being fearful, and I don't want you thinking fearful thoughts about me. So rather than judging me for the good works that I am doing, why not ask yourself why you're judging someone who's doing good works? And I know you're going to say that you don't think my works are good. I'm seeing people change their lives. I'm seeing people manifest beautiful things into their world, just like Joshua said. And yeah, I call him Joshua too. <laughs> so that's my thought on this. You guys, please don't pray for me. Just believe God is love and understand that I'm doing loving things. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.